Hello everyone and excuse the stupid dang computer because for some reason it's acting dumb and stupid up Windows update want to update stuff and because of that it's making the stupid computer malfunction and crap or doing some stupid crazy stuff so that's why you hear the fan going wee 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 wee. but anyways well, I'm going to throw back Thursday today I was I'm going to talk about freaking Selma Bouvier and everyone she married everyone whatsoever she actually married so let's get into it and side note when I do get to Disco Stew huh, there's gonna be a nice little thing on there that says either I'm right or I'm wrong because when it comes to Disco Stew I could swear Tap Out actually had something different than what it says right here that I'm looking at but anyways let's do this so Selma Bouvier she actually was just nothing but single for all her life technically and of course she lived with Patty and eventually her first marriage came up and she married none other than Sideshow Bob so the reason why Sideshow Bob actually married her was to kill her yeah that's just an interesting thing I forgot what exactly the true story behind it was but yeah he actually wanted to kill her yeah, so he was playing to kill her, but Bart Simpson saved her. This is one of the instances where, I do have to admit, when it comes to killing Bart, that is a smart idea, but killing, killing, killing Selma, sadly I don't remember the episode, and most likely I'll just have something right down below that explains, oh, well this is exactly why he killed her. But anyways... Yeah, so let's get to the next person that she actually married. Next one that she married is Lionel Hutz. And sadly, this one along with another person... Or, yeah, this one along with another person is actually... Has been done off screen. So for Lionel Hutz here, he actually married her. But we have no idea what happened during that. And it says right here that... Hutz also Hutz was also briefly married to Selma Bouvier as when Homer asked her to marry Apu for a citizenship. She says her name with three husbands adding the other three that we're going to talk about which I already talked about Sideshow Bob and Lionel Hutz was added in and now next is the next person. She married Troy McClure everyone. Yes, Troy McClure before his mysterious Disappearance, which of course, side note, there's someone who already pointed out that they actually have a missing lost episode that explains the tragedy that happened with Lionel Hutz and also with Troy McClure. But of course, secretly, we all should know, and I also have it in a video. The video most likely is right here somewhere that you can click and you can hear what happened to Troy McClure along with Lionel Hutz. Anyway, so Troy McClure, why he married her is not because of love, but he married her because of getting popularity. Because he married her, he started to get some awesome roles. And he continued on, and he actually got a movie role. Then he actually decided to, after marrying her, to actually form a family. But the family wouldn't be of marriage, wouldn't be of love. But instead, it's just to boost his popularity again. Selma basically said, no, I will not raise a child in a loveless marriage. Now, here is where I come to the point of being like, all right, it's time to deal with some continuity issues. And for people who don't know, this is when I'm actually going to start beating some crap. All right, here we go. So she says she's not going to have a baby in a loveless marriage. Even though she's going to have a baby in love as marriage, I think it is a better idea to have a husband or have a man in your freaking damn life to help take care of the kid. Because let's, let's admit it, if Troy McClure was actually the foster father or the father or the person who Selma went to get Ming, chances are, number one, it would have been very, very fast to get Ming because... There would be really no way to actually be like, oh man, this marriage is a sham. It's not a sham because chances are they most likely already for years have figured out how to play this game and actually make it seem like they're actually married. Yeah. Number two is just the fact of 
Troy McClure would actually have lots and lots of movies lined up. He actually will have lots and millions of freaking damn dollars. Because he has millions of freaking damn dollars, that means Ming over here, or let's say they actually, nah, she most likely would have not allowed him to have sex. So because of that, I will basically say, when it comes straight down to it, she most likely will adopt, and she adopts Ming because, let me go, let me just, yeah, this is going to be all shattered, and I'll bring it back together after talking about this for a little bit. So, when it comes straight down to it, first she was like, I won't have a baby in a loveless marriage. Mm -hmm. Then after that, she actually wants a baby. And because of that, she tried and then later on she decided that Jub Jub will do. And then eventually there was another episode where you actually get to have Ming come into Selma's life. So, when it comes to this point, it's technically, I would say, if she stayed with Troy McClure, even though it would be just her living with a guy and she's living the awesome lifestyle, even though I know, I know, it's messed up because there is not, you're not in love. But even though you're not in love, at least you're going to have a better lifestyle than in the DMV, living with your freaking twin sister. Heck, it seems that later on you actually got your own apartment now. And you're actually live you're actually up high in the DMV world now. Which, hmm, that's interesting. Well, anyways, with all that, I just gotta say that when it comes to divorcing Troy McClure, it was a dumb idea. Because you could have got Ming already, and it would have been no fuss, no hustle, no bus. And then after that, you could have actually had Ming be ready for college. All the clothes, the food she would have is all covered. She would actually be a freaking rich, spoiled brat. Instead of just being an American spoiled brat. Instead, she would be a freaking rich, spoiled brat. And I think that would actually have been cool. And not only that, but let's also remember that she actually... You know, let's not remember that... Troy McClure does die. And because Troy McClure does die, if she didn't actually divorce him, think of all the motherfucking money she could have got. The millions of freaking damn dollars. Oh my freaking God. I'm sorry for being selfish here, but this is where I'm like, Selma, even though we didn't know that the guy was going to die, I was still would have rather she actually still was not actually divorced from him. And she actually gets that money. But on the other hand, there could have been, even though I don't know what Troy McClure would actually have done, but I would have said that Troy McClure, if he did have a heart, he would have went to Selma and all the others that he might have dated or married, which I think chances are this is the first time he married someone. She, he actually would give a sliver of the money that he got to Selma because because of Selma, he was able to kind of rock it back into popularity. So it's kind of like, he kind of owes her something. All right. Sorry for that big, crazy little thing that I had to throw in. But anyways, now we get to Disco Stew. Disco Stew also married Selma. The only messed up crazy part I have here is just the fact that because of freaking damn Simpsons tap out, I think it was actually Patty who said, crazy stuff about Disco Stu and her marriage. Yeah, so I don't really know what to say on this. Anyways. So Disco Stu actually married her for a bit of time and it says right here that Marge mentions that he was one of Selma's partners who she liked in the episode Real Housewives of Fat Tony. Before you so that's about all that we are giving here, is that she actually liked Disco Stu. So last but not least, it's Abe Simpson. So technically she actually has the last name Simpson, but of course she could actually revert back to Bouvier. But anyways, we have this weird relationship that happened where Abraham Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, my goodness, Abraham Simpson actually fell in love with Selma Bouvier. Of course, this actually was good to the point of where, sadly, because Abe Simpson was very, very old when they actually married each other. 
it just turned into a messed up tragedy because Abe was not able to actually take care of himself. He's in no shape or form to take care of himself. Of course, I would say this could have been fixed if she just bought a maid. Yeah, if she actually just hired a maid, hired a butler to watch over her stuff, clean stuff up and everything. I think they could have actually still stayed married, but sadly they... It, it, they, it couldn't fit. They couldn't actually make it work. So they divorced. Yeah, poor Abe Simpson. Ming was okay with it, though. Ming was okay with it. But anyways, apparently, even though this doesn't actually count, which I thought it doesn't count, is that Selma thought she married Fit Fat Tony, but it turns out that he actually married... She actually became a Gumar, a.k.a. his mistress. So, yeah, that's one thing. And also, she actually refused to marry Apum Nahasapim Apetalon because her name was already had so many last names, and to add that one in would have been crazy. So, she claims that she will only marry for love or possibly money in the future, which... This is where you say, do because it's like... Troy McClure, you idiot. Troy McClure! If you would have came to that realization already, you already had freaking damn money. And you could have had millions of motherfucking dollars. You idiot! <laughs> you freaking damn idiot! But anyways, yeah, so it turns out that she actually slept with Apu once in a second marriage. Wow. And they actually did it in Bart's room. He just dated her mother. Huh. Wow, she actually dated... He actually dated her mother before they she died. Wow. It's not, can I make it work because of the age and her career calling it quits? So that's why. I guess I could actually mention there's like other people she dated. But of course, like I said, eesh, man. So there is a big collection of how many people she married. She married Lionel Hutch. She married Disco Stu. She married Troy McClure. She married Simpson. She married a Simpson. And she married some other guy I kind of can't remember. <laughs> it's like, oh man, you just said it minutes ago. Yeah. Well, anyways, that's all I came here to tell you is the people that Selma Bouvier actually married. Let me tell you, when it comes straight down to it and I had to fix the continuity, I would have said she should have stayed with Troy McClure. She could have got Ming. She could actually live like a freaking damn queen and Ming her Chinese princess. And they don't even have to worry about money. And heck, she doesn't even have to work in a DMV anymore. Even if she's an executive or she's a boss or whatever. But anyways... I want to say thank you for watching and stay tuned for another Throwback Thursday.